Hello and welcome to the Flurry User Acquisition Analytics Getting Started video. My name is Brad Jones and I am the Director of Product for Flurry Analytics. The purpose of this video is to give you a very quick introduction to Flurry User Acquisition Analytics and to guide you through the setup of your first tracking campaign. Flurry User Acquisition Analytics helps app publishers understand the effectiveness of their install campaigns and the quality of the users acquired. You can create a campaign on either the company or the application tabs. I'm going to use the company tab for this demo and to get there I click on the company tab and afterwards click on the user acquisition analytics item in the left nav. You will find then a create campaign option in that nav and clicking this will bring up the create campaign form. The first thing to do on this form is to select the channel you would like to use for this campaign. Channels allow you to group campaigns and review metrics in a summarized manner. Typically, items in this list represent either a paid acquisition source, such as an ad network or a DSP, or a medium, such as email or mobile web. There are two groups of channels, Global, which are those created and managed by Flurry, and Custom, which are those created and managed by members of a company. Custom channels are only available to the company that created them. If you don't find the channel you want to use in the existing list, just create a new one by clicking Create New Channel. For example, if you have a few different mobile websites with multiple link locations, you might create a channel for each one and then campaigns underneath those separate channels. For any global channel representing an ad network or DSP with which Flurry has an integration, an option will appear that allows you to enable callbacks on installs so that networks can optimize their campaign delivery. After selecting your channel, enter the name of the campaign. This name should be fairly descriptive as it will be used to refer to the campaign in places without associated context, such as the name of the channel to which it belongs. For example, here I will enter a code for the channel and the dates in addition to the name for the campaign. The next thing to select is the app that you are targeting. The drop-down here allows you to select from your list of apps. If you have more than a few apps, you can begin typing and the list will filter down to just the apps that match your query. Once you select the app, the destination link field will populate. If you have not entered your application ID for the app in Analytics, you can enter it now. For iOS, this ID is the number that appears in the App Store URL without any alphabetic characters. For Android, the ID is the Android package identifier and typically starts with a COM dot. Please note, for Android, we optimize the URL to use a special protocol which automatically launches the Google Play app when clicked on a device as this helps with conversions. If the campaign may be opened on non-mobile devices or if you want to change the destination URL, you can click the pencil icon to view the URL customization dialog. On Android, you will find an option to use the normal HTTP protocol or to customize the link altogether. On iOS, only the latter option will exist. If you edit the destination URL to be something custom, please use caution. If the destination you provide does not result in an app install, the only thing that user acquisition analytics will track is clicks, and your users may end up at a dead end. After the destination URL is configured, you can select your custom quality metric. Please note, this currently must be done at time of campaign creation and cannot be altered once the campaign is saved. If you have a custom segment or a user conversion funnel you have created in Flurry Analytics, you can leverage any of them as a custom quality metric for this campaign. What this means is that any user that becomes part of a selected segment or converts in a selected user conversion funnel will be counted as a quality install in this campaign. I'm going to select to use a funnel and have it be the first time user funnel. If you have questions about segments and funnels, you can see our advanced event features video also available at the Flurry Inc. YouTube channel or at support.flurry.com. Now that everything is set up, you can click Save Campaign and the tracking URL will be created. This URL is presented to you in a dialog. Now all you have to do is take this URL, copy it, place it in your campaign as the click through link, and start running the campaign. In the reporting UI, you will notice that this campaign is now listed and waiting for data to begin flowing in. I cover the usage of the reporting UI for user acquisition analytics and a deeper review of the integration into Flurry Analytics in another video titled Flurry User Acquisition Analytics Reporting Overview, also available at YouTube or on support.flurry.com. 
If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to reach out to us at support at Have a great day.